what up guys bass drop keys your friendly neighborhood negro and a rookie mycologist i want to welcome you all to my brand new mushroom youtube channel now if you're watching this that means that you probably know me from being in the 420 community but now what i want to do is i want to teach myself how to grow mushrooms all this channel is is one person's journey to try to teach themselves how to grow mushrooms on the first video on the channel, you guys saw me inoculate the all-in-one mushroom bag. Since then, you've seen me get four flushes out of the bag. Because of that, and because so far this is the easiest way that I've found to grow mushrooms, we're going to start season two of the all-in-one mushroom bag from Mushroom Supplies. Also, I do want to mention that we're going to be trying out more all-in-one mushroom bags here on the channel. Maybe some work more than others. And that's information that I would love to be able to tell you guys. But so far, you guys see me use the Mushroom Supplies All-in-One Grow Bag. And I've gotten great results so far. You guys have seen everything right here on the channel. This method has been the easiest and given me the best results so far. The only difference this time is we're going to try to fruit the mushrooms inside the grow bag instead of taking it out and putting it in a tub. I'm going to try to fruit in the bag this time, but if I have to, I'll take it out again, but we're going to try to fruit inside the bag. Now the footage that you've been watching so far is the footage of me cleaning out my steel air box. You guys know the first time that I did this, I did this open air. But now that I have my steel air box from North Spore, I'm definitely going to do this inside the steel air box because we want to eliminate the possibility of contamination. And by the way, I want to thank North Spore for sponsoring me. If you guys want to get the steel air box or any of the other North Spore products for yourself, use the code BASEDROPKEYS. That will give you a 10% discount on any order at NorthSpore.com. Thanks to North Spore for sponsoring a rookie. Thanks to you guys for supporting one. But at any rate, I have the inside of the steel air box clean now. You guys know I'm using the 70% ISO alcohol. I also wiped down the all-in-one mushroom bag. And I wiped down the isolated spore syringe that I'm going to use to inoculate the all-in-one mushroom bag. I put everything inside the steel air box, including my micropore tape. Now that that's done, let's jump inside the steel air box and get to work. Also, real quickly here, I do want to mention that... The way that I'm doing this is the way that Mushroom Supplies recommends it. It's their product, so obviously they would know the best practices on how to use it. So everything that you're seeing in this video, I got directly from Mushroom Supplies. So right here, you can see what the isolated spore syringe looks like. If you've ever gotten liquid culture before, then you'll recognize how this looks. Now I can already hear the question that you guys are gonna be asking me, yo Keys, where did you get the spores from? Well, I don't know how YouTube feels about that. So let me take this time to invite you guys to my Instagram. If you come follow me on Instagram at the rookie mycologist, I will give you six sites that I've already ordered from that I know 100% is legit and any kind of spores that you're looking for, whether it's medicinal or gourmet, they have them right there available for you. Also, what I'll do is I'll put my link tree in the description box. You can also find my link tree link in the bio on Instagram. If you click the link, you'll see my favorite place to get them and the place that I recommend the most. No matter which kind of spore syringe you end up getting, it will come with a sterile needle. Because it's already sterilized, the first time that you use it, you don't have to worry about flame torching or wiping it down or anything like that. After you use it the first time, you do want to flame torch it before you inoculate another bag. We won't have to worry about doing any of that this time because according to Mushroom Supplies, they recommend using 10 cc's, the full syringe in one bag. You guys know we were inoculating grain bags. We would be using two and a half to five cc's, something like that. And honestly, you can use even less than that. But according to Mushroom Supplies, they recommend using the full 10 cc's when you're inoculating the all-in-one bag. And by the way, this is the five pound bag. I got it from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description for you. But whenever you click on it, you'll see that there's a three pound bag and a five pound bag. This one is the five pound bag. But at any rate, what I do is I open up the needle so that I don't touch it in any way. Take the guard off the syringe put the needle on the syringe. You can see how easy it is. After that, you're ready to go. All you have to do is take your syringe, squeeze all 10 cc's of your syringe inside the bag. Mushroom Supplies recommends that you put it all in one place. So sometimes when I'm inoculating grain bags, 
you'll see me squirt some here, tip it down, squirt some there, you know, tip it up, squirt some over there to try to make, you know, more inoculation points. Mushroom Supplies recommends that all 10 cc's you put it in one place. So that way the spores are right next to each other. Now what you wanna do is you wanna put your cap back on your needle. You don't wanna accidentally puncture yourself. Now that I have that done, I'm gonna take some micro pore tape and I'm gonna cover the injection port. In the comment section, I know some of you guys are gonna be like, I thought that was a self healing injection port. Look guys, as I said, I'm doing everything the way Mushroom Supplies recommends it. They recommend covering the injection port, that hole with micro port tape. So that's what I'm doing. Now we have our five pound all in one mushroom bag inoculated and I'm gonna put it inside my new incubation box, which is another tent. And while I'm speaking on that, let me let you guys know that I read most of all the comments that you guys put on all the videos. And I see where you guys are asking about showing you the fruiting chamber and the incubation box and all of that. In one of the new videos that I got coming out on the channel very soon, I'm going to be showing you my new fruiting chamber and my new incubation box. If you guys follow my 420 channels, then you know that AC Infinity is a big sponsor of mine. And now they're the official tent and ventilation sponsor for the channel. And I'm super excited that they're part of the channel now. If you guys don't know, I started growing Halloween 2020. Six months later, they started sponsoring me and we've had a great relationship on what's about to be two years. They was one of my first major sponsors whenever I started growing and you guys know how I am about loyalty. They started sponsoring me when I didn't have that much experience, but they saw a lot of potential in me. Just like I be telling you guys about North Spore. They took a chance on me and it's paid off greatly for them and for me. So I know there's a lot of people that watch my content now. I really appreciate you guys. If there's any companies that's watching my content, and I know there are, you guys should really be looking at up and coming content creators. You should be looking at people that you think have a lot of potential and you should reach out to them and start sponsoring them if you're in the business to do so. Because you never know, that new person that you end up sponsoring might turn into the next Bass Drop Keys or Rookie Mycologist or Mr. Beast even. You never know. But at any rate guys, I really appreciate you watching the video. You probably noticed the sweet t-shirt that I've been wearing for the video. That is one of the new t-shirts that you can find on the rookiemycologist.com. I want to thank everybody that's already been supporting and ordering your t-shirts, your slides, your hoodies, your stickers, and everything. Thank you guys so much. Right now, I do have some artists that's working on some custom rookie t-shirt designs, and so I'll get those to you as soon as I can. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for showing so much love to the channel. And until I see you guys the next time, peace guys, rookie out.